Republic of Nigeria, Representative Femi Bajabia Abila, ably represented by the capable leader, minority leader of the House of Representatives, Honorable Suzuji Edmund. President of Globe Nigeria, and of course, Vice President Africa Globe International, Right Honorable Sam Onuibo, our ranking by age, but of course, he had to leave because he also has another oversight function. Right Honorable Haruna Mishelia. My brother, a very complete gentleman, but very empathic to the plight of his constituency. Right Honorable Simon Karu. And of course, Honorable Hamza Ibrahim, Special Assistant to the Speaker on Humanitarian Affairs. The representative of the British High Commission, Shane. Malbon, and of course, who coincidentally also is the head of climate change and energy West Africa. The representative of national, of red, the national coordinator, Dr. Moses Ama. The consultant on natural capital Governance and Chief Executive Officer of Natural Eco Capital, Dr. Eugene Itua. And of course, my sister, Madam Kate Okole, who represents the DG of Great. Green Wall. Invited guest, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. No, I'm, I'm checking my time, so I'm aware that we have crossed morning. Um, let me profusely commend my colleague for his commitment, resilient spirit, his humility, his being empathic to the issues of climate change. I've always known him as a man of integrity. So I have no doubt that he has taken it upon himself to venture into this. It takes a man that is a man of integrity to be involved in this kind of uh, initiative. One, there is no money. It takes somebody who is in love of nature, not thinking of what will enter his pocket to venture into this initiative. And I commend you and your group for this wonderful assignment that you have impact upon. <laughs> and let me clearly tell you that you have the backing of the house. <laughs> Mr. Speaker would have been here but of course, you know, last week Thursday, the president of the country 
presented the budget estimate for 2022, and as it is uh, customary, the moment he presents his budget, um, he will automatically ensure uh, that uh, the MDAs make themselves available to the assembly for budget defense so as to ensure that uh, we expedite that action in terms of ensuring that the budget is uh, passed. Since we have taken it as a ritual that every year we must pass the budget before that accounting year is ended. So he is currently sitting on the debate on the general principles. And that informed why he has graciously pleaded to the leader of opposition. I don't want to say that he's employed by the ruling party to get me not to be involved in anything that they may want to do, you know, any wuru. But I believe that he's doing he's done that because we have what they call the joint tax. And joint tax, we do not know any political party. We only know Nigerians. And that has informed why he asked me to come here to represent him. Let me commend our brother from the British High Commission for also the interest that you will have shown. I could remember 18th of December 2020, the Prime Minister or the government of the uh, United Kingdom made a pronouncement that by 2030 it will be totally green. No buying of our of petroleum products, what have you. And they have systematically commenced that process. That is seriousness. And I commend them. But the only thing is that, you know, it has also left us to think. And I'm happy that the PIA has come on stream. Because what that pronouncement means, given by research, that we'll have 38 billion deposit of crude. If they go by the threat, and in the next, say, nine years, or say, 10 years, even if we begin to consume 2 million barrels per day, at the end of the day, we probably will not exhaust 18 billion. So it means that we have to think of how to manage the balance 18 billion that will be reserved. So I think it's, the task is now on African nation and those producing oil to take British government serious on their pronouncement and improvise and quickly see how we can make our nature suitable for all of us. Uh, the pollution is bad. I often tell somebody, each, every weekend I'm running to my village, and somebody asks me, why do I go to the village? And I said, because when I get to the village and I open my door, I receive the best air, not polluted. So I join in commending the work that you've done by bringing this for us to launch this very all-important uh, Great Green Wall Red, and of course the Environmental Economic Accounting Nigeria. Climate change is impacting uh, communities in every country, across every continent. Rising sea levels, extreme weather events, disrupted economies, food and water insecurity, resource scarcity, wind, urgently, and I mean that we urgently need action, and the House of Representatives will support that action. I have listened carefully to the speeches that have been made, but most importantly, with reference to the President of GLOBE, and of course, all that have made their submissions from Shane Malbon, uh, Dr. Amal, Itua, and uh, others. 
one thing is very paramount is that you people are shifting everything to the assembly. Because for some of these things to be to be realized, uh, the enabling law must be in place. So and even on the issue of the mobilization that uh, Dr. Tua, I believe, also, uh, uh, no, um, my brother talked about uh, the to mobilize it, even if federal government, you know, has to dip down into contingency, it will still need national assembly to be involved in it, and that becomes a money bill. So. Either left or right, the law making body, they have a very huge role to play in actualizing this dream. So I want to assure you that the House of Representatives will be up and doing in ensuring that we support it and all the bills, both the forestry uh, bill, the climate change bill, all the outstanding bills, as soon as we are through with the money bill, which is the budget of 2022. I can assure you that we will we'll fast track uh, those bills so that we won't be found lacking in this uh, process. So once again, let me thank all of you for coming and, uh, and uh, wish to say that uh, we will 100% be involved. Um, most of the bills, when they came for first reading, and the other one that came the other day for second reading, the forestry issue, it was. In fact, we didn't even allow it to be debated. It just was just taken like that. So after the uh, the, the budget uh, issue, it will now go for uh, 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 public hearing, and I don't expect that uh, the chairman who will be. It will be committed that it has been committed to we have any cause to delay. But even if it does, he's uh, here with us to ensure that I think it's agriculture. Was, yeah, yes, that was committed to. It's agriculture. But I could remember, I could remember, I think it was money also. So we'll do justice to that to ensure that we'll fast track some of them. and will be better for it. So having said that, let me uh, officially launch this noble outcome of SSI that you will have done uh, by launching the Red Cross Nigeria. And the Environmental Economic Accounting Nigeria the green, Great Green Wall, Nigeria, to the glory of God. Thank you so much for listening. I'm sorry that I will not be able to stay longer because of the what is required of us, uh, the budget. If we don't pass it, some Nigerians that are here will, uh, they will crucify National Assembly for failing in their duties. Thank you and God bless.